The problem 13 of MIT Integration B qualifying exam 12 indefinite integral of 1 over x cubed minus x. So this is a very easy problem. Let's see how we would solve it. So um, this problem can be re-expressed as pulling x out in the denominator we left with x minus 1 x squared minus 1 times x and factorizing that further difference of 2 squares x squared and 1 squared we have x minus 1 x plus 1 times x and um, <coughs> we can um, do this the easy way um, there is maybe expressing this part, in the, the integrand in partial fraction form. Um, equals b over x minus 1 plus c over x plus 1. Um, so... Uh, one step here is if we focus on a multiply across by x such that we are left with 1 over x minus 1 x plus 1 is being equivalent to a plus bx over x minus 1 plus cx over x plus 1. If x is set to 0, um, then what that means is that, um, so um, we have 1 over x minus 1, x plus 1, being equivalent to a plus bx over x minus 1 plus cx over x plus 1. When x is equal to 0, what this means is on the left-hand side, we have 1 over negative 1 times positive 1 being equivalent to a, and this is 0 plus 0 plus 0. So a is equal to negative 1. Then if we have a scenario where we're multiplying both sides by x minus 1, we have x, x plus 1, being equivalent to a x minus 1 over x plus b plus c x minus 1 over x plus 1. So if we set um, x such that is 1, you realize that this part goes to 0, this part goes to 0, and here we have 1 over 1 plus times 2. So uh, what that means is we have 1 over 1 times 2 being equal to um, b. And that means that b is equal to 1 half. If we multiply across by x minus 1, um, we do have... Um, x minus 1 being equivalent to a x minus 1 over x plus b, I mean x plus 1, x plus 1 over um, x minus 1 plus c. So when x is set to negative 1, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, and we have 1 over negative 1, negative 2, being equal to C. Um, so this becomes, which means that C is equal to 2 a half. Um, okay. So um, essentially what this means is that um, we've seen that A is 1, B is a half, C is a half.
So 1 over x, x minus 1, x plus 1, the same as 1 over x plus a half, 1 over x minus 1. That's essentially what um, that is. So our integral of the same as the integral of 1 over x plus a half 1 over x minus 1 this is natural logarithm of x for that plus a half natural logarithm of x minus 1 plus a half natural logarithm of x plus 1 and plus integration constant. Now we can always simplify this further uh, because if we have log of x plus a half log x minus 1 plus a half log x plus 1 plus c, that means that um, this is the same as log using the rules of logarithm this can always be taken up and also this can be taken up so we have x times the square root of x minus 1 x plus 1 plus the integration constant um, and we could even uh, simplify this further because this is same as square root of x squared minus 1 plus c. Um, which is the same as log of square root of x to the power 4 minus x squared plus and so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we could, you know, express it in several other forms by pulling a half out, um, but that's okay. So I think um, that solves our problem. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where uh, we stop for this problem. Um, if you have any question, reach out to us, and we'll be able to discuss about this. Um, thank you.